have a triangle like this. Um, let me draw it. Now my drawing skills are not what it should be for this, but I hope uh, you forgive me for that. And so we have a triangle like this, and let's say do it this way. And let's say we have, there are two triangles. Let's put A, B, C, D. And let's say this is 12. And this is, let's say, this is a perpendicular. This is 5. And if we know that these two triangles A B A B C has same area as uh, A C D then what is the length of C D so that's our problem so let's say this is X so what is X so now to solve this problem, we have to apply as we are given the areas are same. So what is the area of ABC? It's BC times A, uh, let's put it as uh, maybe H here. Okay, let me choose a different color. Okay, so area of ABC equals to half base times height correct which you learned in our first video so here this is our base which is 12 half into 12 times height is 5 which is 30 now what is the area of uh, this triangle ACD again the height of ACD is 5 again because if you see this triangle we have a line from the vertex this top point to the base even though the point where it touches is outside the base which is fine so it can be uh, a case where you have a height which is falling on the outside of the base but as long as it is on the same line as base then this is the height for the triangle so acd is equal to cd is your base which is half times x okay let me write x nicely a little bit times 5 So, which is 5x by 2. So, now this, as we know that if both the areas are same, that means this is equal to 30. So, then x is equal to, so if we take uh, x equal to 2 times 30 divided by 5, is same as 12. So, x is again 12. So that's uh, a, a kind of simple problem uh, as long as you know the base times height and you have certain idea how a height looks like for different types of uh, triangle. So let's solve now another problem. So let's say we have a triangle which is an equilateral triangle. So all the sides are same and we have to find out the area of the triangle. Now we know we can find out easily from Heron's formula when you are given all the sides but we'll uh, solve this problem a little differently. Uh, so let's draw a line here. Now we know for equilateral triangle a line cuts the base at a middle point. So this is A by 2 And the other half also is A by 2. 
Now look at if you look at this triangle, we can very easily apply Pythagorean theorem. So let me change the my pencil top a little bit. Let me make it a little thinner. So this is uh, so in this is a Pitha if we can see this is a right angle triangle so we can apply Pythagorean theorem because this is a right angle so if we see this is H so H square plus A by 2 square equal to A square right because this is our hypotenuse so that leads to H square equals to we have a square here and this is a square by 4 so if it this goes to the other side then it becomes minus a square by 4 so this would lead to h equal to a square minus a square by 4 is 3 a square by 4 so that is h square so that h would lead to this correct so which is root 3 a by 2. So if you find out h, then we can find out the height, uh, the area of the triangle by applying the famous formula half base times height, which is half times a, which is the base times root 3 a by, I'm sorry, root 3 a by 2, which would lead to root 3 a square by 4. So this is our area of the equilateral triangle. So we have found out the area of the equilateral triangle. So now we will solve some other problem but let's uh, recap the problem once again. So here we are given the sides of uh, equilateral triangle and we are asked to find out. So by applying the Pythagorean theorem we are able to find the area of the, we are able to find the height of the triangle and with that we have found the area of the triangle. So let's let's check another problem. So let's say we are given a triangle Let me draw it a little bit better this time if I can. Okay. That looks a little better. Even though it's not perfect, but I think it's a lot better than the last time. Okay. So we are given a triangle, let's say A, B, C. Now we are given this side as, let's say, 10. And we are given this height as 4. And let's say we have another line perpendicular from point B. And length of this is, let's say, 5. And we have to find out the length of this one. Let's say this is x. So how do we do it? So again, by applying the area of uh, the triangle, we know that area of uh, the triangle is, if this is 4, this is 10, which is best, then we can apply half base, which is 10, times 4, which is 20. And if you take this, this, this is the area of the triangle. Now we can also find out the area of the triangle by taking the this height which is let me put a uh, let's say this is D. So BD is also a perpendicular to this side. So we can f and X is our base which is this one. So we can find out half times base which is X times 4 
which is the area of the triangle which we found out as 20. So this would lead to x equal to 10 because 2 times 20 is 40 and then 40 divided by 4 is 10. So like that we have found out this is 4.